It's been over a year since Dunbar's been here at the Ponderosa, but it's not working out. Today's the day. We're just having to make these changes because things aren't going as well as planned and things are a lot more difficult on us. Come on, Dunbar. Dunbar. Bless you. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on, Dunbar. Mike will open this and let him in here. Now I've got to go. Oh, the horses. Crap. Let's go put them up real quick. I'm gonna go get these horses. Come on, Cora. Come on, Cora. Come on, Cora. Alright, Mike's got Dunbar in. We gotta go let these other cows in. Had to open this gate because some cows didn't come up pasture one, they came up pasture two. Joe. I don't know where Big Joe's in the back. Oh. He's in the back, baby. There's Dunbar. It's caught with the cows. Alright, Mike. You're good. Hop in. We'll go take this panel to Marissa. Nice, going nice work. We'll, we'll go this this way. Okay. We'll come back out here. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Thunder's Bison. I'm Dusty. Got Marissa and Brooks with me and my good buddy Colorado Mike before he goes back home to Colorado. But our boy over there, it's about him today. It's Mr. Dunbar. It's been a long time coming. We tried to operate with two mature bulls in the same place here at the Ponderosa. Big Joe and Dunbar. And it's been over a year since Dunbar's been here at the Ponderosa, but it's not working out. Uh, it's been rough. I can explain more about all the things we've gone through. If you've been with us the past year, since May of 2023, you probably have an idea or understanding of what's going on. But today's the day. We're gonna take Dunbar and a couple of females over to mom and Kevin. So Dunbar is going back to the OG where he was raised and spent a lot of his time. But uh, we're just having to make these changes because things aren't going as well as planned and things are a lot more difficult on us. Bison Ranch and the full operation. I can explain more why we're moving Dunbar. But right now we're going to sort him out and we're going to sort some cows out and Dunbar's heading to the OG. Hope you guys follow us along. It's going to be a journey today. Yeah. 
Yep. Hey, what are you doing? You ready for some action for? Yep. All right, we're back to it. Now it's sorting time for Dunbar and a couple cows. Then we'll load them up in the trailer. We'll head out. So what we're gonna do is, I think once we open up the gate, they should come in, they may not. Um, they just by their, see Dunbar's already over there. Yeah. Just by their, uh, you want me in there they're just you... so curious. Yeah. And he knows that there used to be feed in there. Um, you, want me to come in there so you can come in here with me and then we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out after. Okay. Watch it, Mike. Shoot. Shoot. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. All right. Let's let him settle a second. Wolverine cow that's loaded. It's been with him for a while. Are you going with us? Huh? I don't think so. I think your buddy may be pretty upset. You're all worked up too. It's like Dunbar. Okay. Did you separate them? Yeah, they're separated. So he's loaded up. Marissa and Brooks and I and Mike. Thank Mike for the his help. Big appreciation there. All right, Dunbar's loaded up, ready to go. Um, Marissa, me, and Brooks, and Mike. Thank Mike for his help right there. Um, getting this going a little. Took us a minute to separate the cow I wanted, the specific cow, uh, from Wolverine Bison. Um, got them as calves a couple years ago. Got her with Dunbar, and uh, we're headed to the OG right now, so it'll be about 25 minute drive. Look at these hooligans. Hey, you can't go. You gotta stay over. Right? <laughs> Back up. Cora. Cora. Quite an unchaining process Kevin's got here, but <sighs> wow, look at all of this clover. Crazy. Lots of ground cover, which is good. A lot of biomass happening right here. Thanks, Mike. Hey buddy. Hey Dunbar, you're a good boy. You'll know this place. You'll recognize it, I promise. Now the cow, not so much. She will not. Look who it is, it's Thor. Hey Thor, can you smile? Hey, thanks for the smile, me, buddy. Thank you, that's good. Are you excited? You get the new buddy, the big old buddy. You're getting a new one. Wow. Still cracked in some. Mm -mm. You know, I wonder if you can just come back through and fill it with a uh, old concrete sealer. Yeah, For some sure. sort of sealer. Yep. That's what happens whenever you go back and pour concrete over concrete. Yep. Well, never, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
but better do this the first shot. It looks good. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. All right, we're here back at the OG. There's the big silos that you always see. Kind of, if you see those, you know where we're at. So if you guys are just joining us um, or just recently started following us along on Boston Ranch in here in Southern Oklahoma, um, this is the place where we all started right here on my mom and Kevin's property out um, in the Sulphur area. And uh, this is where Dunbar, Peaches, Eleanor, Bell Star were all raised and uh first five animals that we started with and uh, we lost one early uh from a little trailer accident got gored by another animal but other than that uh this is a always will be a special place for us but right here for mr dunbar who's about to be released mike's gonna let him go and uh he's gonna be back and back in action here uh i know we'll talk about what we're gonna do with him um, I don't know how long he's going to be here. We've got some things that we're going to talk about. Marissa and I and Kevin got some plans. We may be uh, taking Dunbar possibly somewhere else. So, But for now, he's going to be here so we can do the rest of our operation. One twenty-eight heifer. She hadn't had a calf yet. She actually didn't get pregnant um, last summer with Dunbar and Haas. Uh, what I did was with them is they were one thirty-eight and one twenty-eight. Uh, they were actually kind of wormy uh, going into winter. About halfway through winter time, Marissa and I darted them, and then we we darted them and brought them up to the uh, corral. Put them both with Dunbar. Gave them a little feed and both came out very, very well after they're warmer. So she's recovered. I couldn't catch the other one this morning, but she's doing really well. So she's going to be with Dunbar. And then Kevin's got some two-year-old heifers over here um, that we're probably going to put with Dunbar to make a small herd. I can uh, bring more cows over too as well. Um, we just hadn't caught them all. And we can take some actually out of the Big Joe herd and bring over here keep that uh diverse genetics going but um here hopefully she's pregnant now by dunbar um hopefully he's done it if not she should be coming in heat uh the end of june this month or july and start the breeding season so we're right here around the corner but he should be happy hunky dory in here in this uh large paddock and now we can get back to our rotational stuff with him so I know it's kind of sad and rough and you guys think that Dunbar's probably getting the shaft on this thing, but uh, Marissa and I kind of, Marissa and I made the executive decision to uh, obviously have Big Joe be our main bull and that's a confirmation thing. Uh, basically, uh, we think that as far as the number one breed bull, we're using Big Joe because of his length his size, um, and, and those kind of things that we looked at when we chose which breeding bull we wanted. Dunbar has got really good genetics, comes from a, a good line of genetics, good producer, uh, Doc Gerald Parsons in Stratford. He is top shoulder down to his brisket or his chest is really big, um, but he's short and he's got a little low butt, which the typical shape of a bison is a big front down to a smaller butt end. Uh, that's the shape of a bison. His is just a little short. He looks really good right now. Marissa just made the point of that. Yeah, yeah, and I just made a comment about that because, oh, well, before I said that um, this cow what, didn't get bred by him and Haas last year because halfway through winter they got very wormy. And we brought him up, made him feel better. He's over there hitting that hay bale. It's been sitting out here. Um, it's Dunbar being Dunbar again. Dunbar and Haas were actually last summer with nine of our South Dakota heifers and 10 of our um, Wolverine Canada heifers. So him and Haas's genetics are gonna, we're gonna see those. 
being passed on because those babies that we've gotten out, a big portion of them between South Dakota and the Wolverine ones, uh, they're all first time mamas. Uh, those are Dunbar and Haas genetics. So he spread a lot of his uh, diversity uh, last summer, and now those are showing up today with our account of about 18 red dogs is what we've got right now. So uh, Marissa just reminded me of that. He's still, he's still, we, we're going to see his genetics, but he's not going anywhere. He's still a breed bull. We're still going to use him, and we still love Dunbar. That will never change about him. He's a good bull. And so we've got a good, nice heifer with him as well. We'll see how his babies come out this year. So we're excited to see those red dogs grow up some. So anyways, he's gonna get all of his smells in and double check the property and recognize it again. That heifer, she's already checking the fences cause she's never been here before, but hey buddy, you get that hay bale? Yep, he did. So we'll keep you updated on Dunbar. Kevin will see him every day, every day. Um, Kevin is a great help. Uh, taking care of these bison but we'll see kevin will see him every day but we'll come over here and give you updates on our boy dunbar so there he is he's back in action look how good he looks looks great he wants to go back. huh he wants to go back. yeah he, he <laughs> he's got to get his smells in yeah hey buddy he's actually taller than big joe Did i ever tell you that mike Hell. yeah when, when the two got together he's actually taller than big joe really yeah that that top hump that he has so Anyways, all right, Dunbar, we're going to leave you, buddy. We'll come back and visit. This guy's checking his smells on the trailer. So, anyways, we're going to head back to uh, the Ponderosa now and uh, let him settle, do his thing with the new heifer over there, the 128 heifer. We may bring a couple more over here for him. Of course, we will eventually and use some of the ones we already have here for Mom and Kevin. We're going to go to the Ponderosa. Now we've got to move the Big Joe herd out of the burn unit they've been there for over a month now that place needs recovery before we lose all of our warm season growth we're going to hit that potential in july we've got to move them start their rotation and then we got to move some calves we got to try to catch those calves marissa and i took out to the hay meadow back in april or early may all right let's head out all right mike yep. you and you and no thor <laughs> 